All right, y'all, so we have the USFL draft. I guess I'll do a little recap on who all got drafted and just, I guess, my thoughts all together. Um, let me see. So, number one is Shea Patterson. I feel like I've seen his name before. I think he was a rookie in, his, in, in the NFL this year, actually. I don't know if he went undrafted or not. I can't remember. Uh, so, he was the number one pick. What team is this? Michigan Panthers. So Michigan has a team. Huh. It's got the Stallions. Let me look up some more stuff. I seen um XFL has a uh XFL has a partnership with the uh NFL now. So that that's actually uh interesting. Let me see if I can find that. XFL has finally come to a collaboration agreement with the NFL. The Wayne Johnson, owner of half of the league has announced they will seek to work together to improve the league. And safety among other areas. XFL chairwoman slash. Innovate together on game rules. So I'm sure they're gonna be trying stuff out in the XFL that they wanna try out in the NFL. So the XFL is gonna be like a, uh, almost like a G League. Almost. Me too, by the way. Yeah, cause like you're- It's gonna buy the, it's Xbox like by default, it's gonna turn into a, um, into a developmental league, I feel like I don't think they're gonna be competitors, but you never know actually with time how that'll play out. Replay we'll see. Or like, you know, and the fact that it was some people said they didn't like, going like they didn't like, like the rock, but I don't know, I ain't had no problem with it. Very well dressed. Dude. So they got the Michigan Panthers, New Jersey Generals, Philadelphia Stars, Houston stay with the team. So I wonder how they gonna play this out with USFL and XFL. Isn't XFL coming back soon? XFL return. XFL announced on Wednesday that it's planning to relaunch in 2023 after talks 2023 after talks with the Canadian Football League about collaboration between the two leagues were ta tabled. XFL and CFL both said in separate statements that decision was jointly reached between the leagues. Wow. Oh, they're going to be big. Oh, wow. So to come back next year, they got a partnership with the NFL and the CFL. It's gonna be different, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to see how to, like what what they intend on doing and how this is gonna play out. So the USFL is making this triumphant return to the spring in 2022. We're doing a lot of reactions to them. At least I'm gonna try to. Uh, it's gonna have a 10 game, 12 week schedule in April. Okay, hopefully, hopefully not too many copyrights there. Hopefully, but they had 12 rounds in one day, and day two, 35 rounds. Oh, but it's only. Eight teams, so okay, I guess that, I guess that makes sense. All right, let's go here. So Shea Patterson was picked first. Jordan Tamu, he can play. He play. I, I remember seeing him playing the XFL. He could play. And then he uh back was back up for the Chiefs. I wonder if uh, what's his name? I want to see the staff. He looks familiar. What's his name? I want to see if uh, quarterback for the uh, Panthers if he's gonna play. Brian Scott, never seen him. Hey, I'll definitely check out some highlight tapes if y'all want me to. Comment in the comment section. Ben Holmes, okay, got a quarterback. So Birmingham Stallions got Alex Magoo. Let's see if I recognize any of these names. Alex Magoo, a quarterback. He selected a D end. Tay Hayes, Brian Mills. Nah, I really don't recognize a lot of these names. They two Scooby Wright. They, I think he played for the Browns. CJ Marable. Okay, okay. So they got them a running back. Uh, recognize him. He was solid. I think he went undrafted, but he didn't. Uh, it didn't really pan out. But I mean, he's only in his first year, so this this would be a good uh, a good a good a good opportunity for him. This is actually a, like th these these alternative leagues like this, bro, are really good opportunities for some of these players, man. These uh, say it's like a second chance, you know what I mean? Houston Gamblers. Hopefully Houston team nice. I was hoping PJ Walker came back. That's what I was thinking of his name. PJ Walker came to one of these one of these leagues, you know what I'm saying? Help him get out there compete, but maybe he just maybe he working, you know. Uh I really don't recognize a lot of these guys at all at all, but it would be interesting to see. I'm curious what happened to that player. It was a guy who came straight from college and he went and played in the uh the XFL. Straight out of college, no, out of high school, I think it was either high school or he or he left college early. I can't remember. 
Let's see Michigan Panthers, Shea Patterson. It's only one. Oh, it's only one. Oh, they got Paxton Lynch. Okay, as a backup. Jeff Bidette, recognize his name. Um, Taiwan Jones, inside linebacker. What? Is this Taiwan Jones the, the running back? Oh, okay, it's a different one who's a linebacker. Okay, I was about to say what? Uh, New Jersey Generals, Ben Holmes, Calvin Hill, Devontae Bosby. I, I recognize his name. Mm. Yeah, not too many. New Orleans. New Orleans got Kyle Slaughter. His, the name sound familiar. Hmm. Y'all let me know who to look out for as far as players go. Uh, I think I recognize Johnny Dixon's name. But who to look out for as far as players go. And not only that, just, uh, you know, if there's any highlights of these players worth, worth checking out. But I might actually wait until this, the season starts because it'll be more beneficial probably to react, you know, when a player goes off. Just go ahead, be quick with it, react that week, you know. Uh, so it'd be cool because it give me something to do as well. But um, Kyle Laletta, it's a lot of mobile QBs. I see a lot of mobile QBs. Um, Josh Love for a second. I thought I saw Jordan Love for a second. I'm about to say what? Ain't no way. Um, Tampa Bay. They got a squad. Jordan Tamu. Eli Rogers is this, is this it's the same Eli Rogers who played with the Steelers? If so, that's a good pickup because he actually not bad. He he was he was pretty solid. I don't know what happened with him. Obi Meli Fonwu, what? He's playing too. What? He got him playing safety. Was Obi a safety? He's a corner. I can't even remember. No, oh, yeah, he's a safety. His brother's a corner. That's what I'm thinking of. How has his brother been playing? That's it. I ain't got too much to say. I, I don't have a favorite team. I'm going to just go with Houston just because it's Houston. But uh, I got to see how this, some of this play out. Uh, The most recognizable names I feel like I see is on uh the Tampa Bay Bandits. Looking like Tampa Bay might be a solid squad. Uh, But we'll see. I think I see some familiar names definitely on this, on this team more than any other one. So we'll see. Uh, Tampa Bay look like just they got the most uh, NFL player names that I see. So uh, might might pick them to be the winner, but we'll see. We'll see. You never know how it plays out. It's a team sport. So we'll see.